So the next award is the kind of award that normally we just skip over, but they made me do it. And here's the live bassist of the year award. <laughs> just joking, they're fine, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, just skip it? Yeah, all right, no. No, presented by one of our very generous sponsors this evening from Sandberg Guitars, please welcome. Okay, well, that's not his name, okay. Fuck you, Dom is not his name, so. And you know what, fuck you, all right? I'm trying my best up here, okay? And people keep leaving their fucking shit up here. Don't leave it. I have to take it. Anyway, I was halfway through saying, from Sandberg Guitars, please welcome Thomas Heyman to present Live Bassist of the Year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, paying respect to bass players. Um, fucking backbone of any band. And I uh, just want to say this is a fucking great show here. Congratulations to Larry and everyone. I'm going back to the script now. So tonight's nominees for live bassist of the year comes from a vastly different corners of the Aussie music community, but that's what makes these awards so great. It's not restricted to genre here. It's about pure instrumental talent and the rhythmic godness only a deep bass line can provide. <laughs> Proudly presented by Sandberg Guitars and soon to be a proud new owner of a brand new guitar, the nominees are Anne Siegmann. Isabel de Cruz Barnes. <laughs> Kelly Dawn Helmrich. <laughs> Nick Brown. Zoe Hauptmann. And the winner of the best live bass player in Australia is Isabel de Cruz Barnes. Thank you so much. Um, as a woman of colour, often I never saw myself represented in this kind of awards growing up, and it took a lot of support to follow my passion. So I just want to thank the people of colour in the music industry who inspire me and inspire other people, especially my manager, Triana Hernandez. Thank you. Yeah. 